All right, to make a custom library in contact, so you start with an empty contact instance. You just double click to make a new empty instance. Open the wrench, go to the mapping editor. This is bringing, bringing your samples. Find your samples you know, in a folder. Drag them in, and the closer you drag them to the keyboard, the closer they map one to one to a key. So we want them to map across multiple keys. You can drag them out. So that's just on the first time you drag it in. So for this one, these aren't musical. Um, so you know, maybe three, four keys per per sample. About there, and you can you know, go up and down. And then your adjustments are. Uh, here's the um, root position, so F sharp zero. So obviously, if you change the root position, the sound will change relative to um, to where you're playing, to what key you're playing. So sometimes, if, if my zone is huge, I'll set that root in the middle. So when I play this one, it's the actual sample at the correct rate. And then I have a lot of area to go up and a lot to go down. So it really depends on the sample. So if that's where you set your, your root here, let's just kind of keep it how it was. And then other quick quick adjustments. Uh, you can select tuning. If you want to detune them all by a certain amount or a certain one by a certain amount. You know, sometimes for a cool effect, I'll just drag everything in and you know just detune it by 12. 12 steps just to see what it sounds like. Um, so that's pretty much it. So now you can see these are whooshes. So the red dot shows you uh, what zone is being played and what velocity. Highest velocity. So that's pretty cool. That actually sounds pretty good. Tuned up all the way. So this thing I'm making, I actually want it down an octave. Pretty cool.